evening. Welcome to Kaiju, I mean Kaijin Thursday. Today, and I am the Kaijin Storyteller. Back again to bring you another story. Unlike my last time that I did this video back in May with the with Frankenstein Kugel's blood, this one's completely different. We're actually looking at the Kaijin and for this time of spookiness and happiness of time. Until they play Christmas music during the end of the holiday. And I know this is not Christmas, but still. But we're looking at a tale about what happens when radiation and very powerful stuff do to humans. Instead of turning them to radioactive creatures like happened to dinosaurs, it will happen. We're talking about 1957's The H-Man starring Kenji Hara, Dr. Serizara, the guy from Varan, the guy from Mothra, you know the one of the mobster guys, and others. Anyway, let us tell you the tale of the H-Men. The story begins when a doc, when a crime, when a criminal comes out of the sewers to get, then all of a sudden he, he disappeared. Only leave is his clothes. So the next day the police come by. And bring him to his duty. They look for him. They ask his good friend, who is the lady from from 1956's Rodin. She is a singer of a nightclub, dancing along with some dancers wearing outfits that I don't understand. But anyway, and she's singing in English. Soon, the creep, soon, things started to happen when people that she is all started to melt away. So our beloved doctor came by and decided to tell them about the H-Men. So, he can try to convince the police. And all of a sudden, the police understand what is going on. So, he showed them with the frogs. And the frogs started to melt away. Some doctors don't believe them. Some of the police don't believe him. So, they went back to the nightclub. After the H-Men dissolves a waiter and another person, a criminal, the owner, disappeared by pretending he was dissolved, but he escapes and kidnaps our beloved female character, and, and then he was melted away, and they put him, because they have planned the Burned the whole city of Tokyo on a fire. The killing the H-Men. And that is the H-Men. This movie was based off of the popular, the most popular story. This is the second Japanese space movie. Third or second Japanese space movie that deals with the... Lucky number five, interested back in 1954, that also inspired a solid reptile. Unlike that 
creature who apparently has more movies than than the H Man. This is more summon to him. They actually so what happened? As they saw have been, this movie is also directed by Itishiro Honda, the great director who directed the best films like Gojira, Rodan, Mothra. And my personal favorite, Wall of the Gargantulas. <laughs> Okay, that one was a joke. <laughs> you know, the music is not scored by his standard director, standard composer, Akira Fube, but Matsuto Santo, who did music for Godzilla Rays Again, Godzilla Fetches Mega Godzilla, and Son of Godzilla. This is a very different movie because. This is the first of the Toho's Transforming Human series. The other two, unfortunately, didn't get a release in the United States of America. How did they stay in America? How did they stay in Japan, I mean? Because of obvious reasons. That's why I was saying that if they, this movie who was released in America, we could get out if they released the other two in America, do it by Mill Creek and put it in a box set with other Kaijin favorites, including Matango. I have to review that one eventually. But in a way, this movie is so great and stern. It's a great crime drama. A climb drama that is so different from anybody else's. It's so different. Yes, that's really great. Anyway, that is pretty much it for the H Man. I will see you next time when I will come back for another Halloween and review the secrets of the Chedachin. But in a way, Spider Prime himself was decided to come back. And decided to update that Godzilla movie list he is currently doing. And I know there are some other Godzilla movies he's currently watching over at October. And also he's doing some King Kong stuff. And, and even some SpongeBob. Oh, that's. That spider is so weird. Anyway, this is the Kaijin Storyteller saying. I don't know. Who, I'm not gonna do that that cat flash that he made up from from a Transformers Ben 10 crossover. So I decided to do this. Good night.